Well, my name is Patrick Smith. Patrick Smith. AKA Grandpa Boy. All right. Right? This car, built by me. Not the parts they built by me, but the car, assembled by me. Right. Engine, everything on the car. Okay. Well, go on people, big up on yourself. It's been a while since I've gotten you guys some content, so I'm gonna get right into it. I'm in Mandeville. I have a nice old school Toyota DX and we're gonna be meeting with the owner, grandfather of where a lot of drifting started. So yo, this person, he actually taught a lot of persons to drift, including schoolers with the red E30. Wanna see me vlog? <laughs> So, we're gonna get an interview with him, get a feature on his car. Look out, let's see Grandpa Boy. Well, my name is Patrick Smith. Patrick Smith. AKA Grandpa Boy. Alright. Right. This car, built by me. Not the parts they built by me, but the car, assembled by me. Right. Engine, everything on the car. Okay. Well, my name is Patrick Smith. Patrick Smith. AKA Grandpa Boy. Alright. Right. This car, built by me. Not the parts they built by me, but the car, assembled by me. Right. Engine, everything on the car. Okay. Well, this is a 83 Toyota Carola. 1983. DX. Yeah. Well, I have this car over nearly about, about five years now, or six years, but not them time there now. But I didn't have an, I owned about three more DX before it. Mm -hmm. Three different DX before yeah, this one. Man. So this is the fourth. Yeah. Peeps, talk about Toyota love. Yo. <laughs> so yo. <laughs> All right, so you say you owned three DX before this one. Yeah. Um, why did you, you know, get, get um, why did you get rid of the other three? Well, you know, what happened? In them times, I had a little angler van when we just slide, like a Ford Angler. When we just drift with and mm. race with and the dirt track and all of those things. Me, Chris Freeman, Ribbon, all of it. Mm. Puta, dead and gone, rest in peace. I'm the multi-bit, if you drive. Right. Yeah, and then, so that we always on the hall road and we always a drift on a slide and the gravel. Mm. We just the gravel, no asphalt like now. Right. It's a terrain that is gravel. Mm -hmm. Right. That's what we start off with. And we well, get the love for it. Okay. Yeah. And I always want my car look nice. Even though it's going to do that. And man, when we fix it up, man say, No, man, you're mash up your car, man. When you can fix up your car, you're going to mash it up. Yeah. Because I love the sport. And so, I always have have to have one in the sport. And, and I give I have a blue one we give my son. Right, so okay, so you prefer this chassis? Yeah. Okay, okay. Cause there are a lot of other chassis you could have chosen. Yeah. But you went with My love was for DX. The DX. Okay, now you're talking. So yeah. you each time you sold one. And <laughs> I then... bought one back. <laughs> Alright, cool, cool. See if I can get the bonnet open and tell us a little bit about what's happening inside. Well, wow, you have my color inside. This well. is a 4 LG wow. silver top 20 valve. So, peeps. Built by me. So, you built it? You built <laughs> I it? built it from. Put, took, put parts together and built it. Okay, okay, cool. So, you got parts like a bottom off and a, and a, and a, and a cylinder head, and so are you just. Like bought it stripper. Well, that this past place named Zigzag. Mm -hmm. 
give me a black top with a leak crankshaft. Right. That's why he said my sponsor me. He might give me a little start off. Start off, right. Yeah. So he give me a black top, 20 valve. Mm -hmm. and, and I go and purchase it, get a crankshaft, crankshaft and fit it back, put it up back together. Right. And have it, drive it, drive it till it crank, get leak again, mm -hmm. fix again, get another engine again, fix again. <laughs> All of that, all of them they run there. You have to go through them because right. we're not so rev the way. <laughs> right, right, right. It will cost. Right. So, um, so in your own words, how much time you would say you probably went through engine? Well, we went through engine a couple of times. Well. Okay. When I tell them start calling me crankshaft. Yes. Tell me I lick crankshaft too often. You're the man! <laughs> <laughs> Tell me start find the specs for it now, right? Right, right, the, right. The remedy to make it go now. Because, you know, building a car, a project car, we have yeah. trials and errors, you know. It's not going to be perfect. Yeah. And a lot of time, yeah, you'll get it to start and stuff, and it's not tuned, but we just we just can't wait and we'll take it for a little drive and something happens sometimes. Yeah, man. We all know how that goes. But I like the setup you have here. Show us what's happening inside. It's pretty simple. Yeah. Straightforward as I can see. Yeah, we have a purple. Hey peeps, forgive the noise, we are right on the roadside here. So, might have some vehicles passing by. But this is black top for AGE no, black no, top. It's a silver top. It's a silver, it's a silver top. top? Yeah, oh. this one is a silver top. Okay, cool. But same for AGE. Yeah, it doesn't have the damage, but the bottom of Right, right. It's a black top. All right, so yo, I see you're running some ITBs here, Grandpa boy. Yeah. Yeah, man. I build those ramp pipes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, them look homemade. Yeah, man, I'm build them. So, peeps, you're not gonna find any glimmer and gamma in this engine bay. It's homemade, and it just it's just to get the job done. Look at this homemade heat shield as well. Yeah, yeah I understand. Yeah, and I build that extractor here. Keep off some of the heat, not sure. Yeah, the radiator it, goes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, man. I like. I, I, I'm thinking about this, Grandpa boy. I would have probably tried to reroute the, the, yeah, the, yeah, because it's yeah, really get hot. Problem, you know, pretty you know, easy. You know, problems. That's why I'm just actually who was why I put the heat shield here. Okay. All right, let me come on this side to get some of the, the videos. Clearly. All right. So on this side. ITBs, as you guys can see. Yes. Um, 4AGE gearbox. 4AGE gearbox, and you have the coil. Is this a Toyota yeah. coil? Yeah, Toyota yeah. coil. Yeah, for the 20 valve. Yeah, man. Them said the Nissan coil when you crossbreed it, it's bad enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, I, this give me performance. It works. Yes, it works. All Proper. right. Is this the factory radiator you're running? Yeah, factory radiator. Factory for radiator yes. for the DX. Yes. Yeah. And um, let me show the people how it looks. So, peeps, you guys notice the engine base purple and nice, but it's old school way, original. You understand? They use but the factory OEM bottles. Um, a lot of these you can't even find nowadays. You understand? A lot of these you can't even find. Is this a custom um, extractor? Or? It's a custom extractor, but I put the. Um, Cut it and put the 20 valve mm -hmm. piece on it to make it work. The down pipe. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, yeah. cool. Yeah, man. Yeah. All right, all right. So, yo, pretty simple inside, peeps. Nothing fancy. Yeah. Factory headlights and grill. And I know this is like probably this is to be continued soon. Intercooler yeah. there. Yeah. You're so planning to boost it. Yeah, yeah, I promise. <laughs> so, Alright, let's take a walk around. Touch that until I get everything that I want. Right, right, right. Grandpa boy, come tell me about them wheels here. You know. Wheels yeah. here look like them older than me. You know. Yeah, man. This, this is an English rim. This is called Revolution. Chief, man, what do you want to do tonight? The same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. Revolution. Yeah. I've seen these on some very old it's cars. Yeah, it's a revolution rim. Yeah. You always have it on Escort, DX. Right, right. Those type of old cars I'm yeah. talking. You yeah. understand? So, 
Um, what size um, wheels are these? It's a 215, 50, 13. 215, 50. 13, some tuna. Oh, it's a 13 inch. 13, yeah, a 13 inch. Rim. Yeah, and what size tire running at? They look meaty. 215, 50, 13. 215. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, we're doing a doing a walk around. Come and show us a little bit about inside here. Yeah, this is around here where the tank is. This. All right, so so you're running a surge. Front cat, yeah. Yeah. Tank, yeah. So it's a surge and we have the fuel cell yeah, peeps. Top, yeah. I like this. So you put it down. This looks like a 10 gallon. Because it, it it's fitting nice in the um spear compartment there. Yeah. In tank pump you're running? In line? We have a, it, a we have an inline pump in the surge tank. We have which run the engine. And the other pump under the car. That's a bash pump. Okay. Out, that's in, outside. Oh yeah, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. Nice. so it it fill this pump. Right. Okay. And okay. So it's running two pumps, peeps. You have a bash underneath, and you have a in in tank one. All right. Nice. Yo, you wanna notice how the car gutted, <laughs> ready to slide. You understand? Just look on the car, peeps. Pretty simple. Nothing fancy. Um. It's a real toy, you understand? Let's see how it looks inside. Alright, so yo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Open it. Alright. So, this is, um. This is, um, what we see in some of those Formula Drift cars, you know. The, what you call this now, Grandpa Boy? Yeah. Well, to prevent your foot from sliding. Slide, yeah. yeah, just in case inside, because we're not running any um, interior carpet. carpet yeah. So, you see me? 16 16 gearbox. Boss have a nice Momo steering. Original, I can tell. Was re wrapped. By Shakes. Shakes, big up <laughs> herself. Shakes, we so still link you know. <laughs> have some upholstery work to do. But, yeah, peeps, pretty simple show you inside you understand pretty simple pretty simple nothing fancy but um we're gonna get some pulls and see how best we can get a little bit of the action from this toyota dx from grandpa boy grandpa boy i need some lessons you know come yeah, man we get rusty no problem, you know. when you're ready. i need some lessons to transition from uh, left to right sudden when they're doing the eight yeah. all right <laughs> Yes, a peeps, you know, ready? I get some pulls in the DX and see if we can go for a couple of spins. <laughs> 